Hello friends and welcome back. Uh, we are playing Prison Architect and my name is Astro. Um, so today uh, we're going to carry on with our maximum security prison. So, so far all we have is the fledgling beginnings of a prison. Everything's very filthy. There are no prisoners. Um, it's, it's basically bugger all at the moment, but we got our initial grants out of the way. Um, we've got some cash here to sort of bankroll the, the, the continuation of this prison. And uh, yes, from here we can, we can carry on. So what I'd like to do, I think, is this section here, it was our launching pad. It was our little bootstrap. So we've got our holding cell and stuff. What I'd like to do is then continue the prison down sort of this way here. Right, so in this section here, we're going to have a new canteen, which will serve as the sort of core of our prison. Uh, we're going to plan out um, a few bits and bobs like that, and we'll leave some space so that we can expand, and then we'll build some wings around it for our prisoners to actually live in. And um, what I'd like to do is sort of reserve this top section here just for staff, because we're going to need some more officers as we go along, um, and we're going to need, you know, some especially a staff room because these guys I mean look this guy here he's probably um no I've got that bug at the moment where I can hear it clicking there we go I, I have the planning tool selected so we've got staff needs set up we can't see what this guy needs yet but we can see that he's pissed off so he's gonna need looking after shortly this guy is so pissed off he's just strolling the corridors on break miserably, gormlessly looking at these filthy footsteps and uh, just piles of bricks just lying about for no particular reason. So, here's what we're going to do. Uh, this yard, alright, first of all, we, we don't want a yard, we don't want any of this guff. That can all go. Done. Gone. No worries. Um, and then we're going to plan some new bits down here. So what I want to do, I want to have like a little access way here. This can be fence. Right, so we can get into the power and water when we need to. Um, this will be reserved for staff with a lovely corridor down the middle. Not the greatest, like bringing the, the prisoners through the staff area to get into the prison proper because, you know, this can be a dangerous area, but we can just mark this as, you know, access only. Um, and then so from here, I want this sort of two by two footpath area. And then that's a jolly big thing but let's just plan it out for now so we're going to go 29 by 29 like that okay nice big thing there and then I guess what we'll probably do is sort of have a corridor coming down like this right so it's two by two and that makes this nice big L shape so we can reserve all this space for offices and maybe even visitation up here we'll see how we feel um Okay, so look, what does that leave us with? We've got a nice little shape here that's starting to come together. And we've got 8 meters here. So if we go 8 meters here, right, and then, uh, like there. So that makes a big, right, uh, you know, like this section is, is 10, and this section is, no, I've misplaced that. That goes there. Right, okay, great. So, that can come through like this. We can have like a little section uh, here, like this, which will be a nice big, uh, like a canteen here. Hmm. Yeah, okay, look, here. We'll plan this out. I'm just, I'm just doing this kind of on the fly as I feel it. Alright, so we're going to have a nice canteen. We're not going to have this. We're actually, uh, no, no, we are going to have this. <laughs> um, and then we'll have this extend like this. And then to here, and this will be the kitchen to feed into this canteen. It may not be big enough. We may need to move it. But for now, I think that'll be a nice sort of starting point. We may even like extend it out to wrap this whole section so that it, uh, that it comes through. But anyway, nice big canteen to get us started. And then we get this lovely, uh, this section here is sort of eight. So if we go like nine, right? And then... Like this, and then we can just line this entire area with cells. 
It'll be great. So we can have like a little corridor. Should we have a corridor? Yes. So I have a little two wide corridor all the way around the canteen. Great. And then we can go one, two, three, four. Now, here's where we have to start to ponder. Because normally, like I would go, all right, so four like this, you have a door, you have a toilet, shower, sink, the shower combo job, and then a bed. So it's a little crammed in cell. But what I wanted, what I would like to achieve with this prison is to have it so that I keep these max sec prisoners as happy as possible all the time. Because God knows they're just gonna they're just gonna riot anytime they want to. So what we might do is we'll pull this out, right? We'll run these like nice sort of long sections down here and then we can build more cell wings in here. So we have these sort of big vertical strips of cells and the way we're going to do these cells is they're going to be two by five. So they're going to be pretty big, but that way we'll have a bed at the back. We'll have a shower toilet combo here. We can have a prayer mat, we can have a weights bench, might even whack in a radio for them as well, just to just to be nice, right? Give them all the mod cons, and that way, these guys should... No, that's not big enough. There we go. There we go. So we can have one on either side for now. Nice big thing in the middle here. Um, yeah, that'll be great. Okay, so let's get started on that. We'll pop some brick foundations in. I mean, I should probably consider using concrete for this, but this would be probably cheap. Oh my goodness. Six, uh, $1,700. What does concrete cost? Oh, it's the same. Alright. Well, let's leave the admin block as brick. We'll have here and here. I've probably got a whole bunch of bricks turning up now, but oh well. Have it here and here. We'll whack in a, uh, a lovely big jail door which can segregate these areas off. Mm, that should the requires entrance should disappear when that goes in and uh, we'll just speed it up and do you know what this yard can probably actually let's uh, yeah let's make use of this because that's not really in a bad location. So we'll do that. And what we'll do is we'll just get rid of these existing walls here. Right? And we will get rid of these existing lights. Because they're going to be in the wrong location. And we're going to remove this door. And we're going to pop another one down here. So once they've done with their lunch, they can just bugger off out here and frolic and play. We'll leave all these trees for them to play with. We might even put some grass in here for them. See how we feel. And weight benches and all that sort of stuff. Alright, great. Okay, so, the other thing that we're going to do is all of these objects in here we can reuse. So we'll just pop into... I think it's in materials. Yes, clear indoor area. And we'll just go around like this. And bosh, done. So all of this stuff will get stripped out. And then we can... Oh. Probably shouldn't have deleted that wall. Honestly, it's not a huge problem. Oh. Yeah, and that door's in the wrong... <laughs> right, well, I've muffed this up rather well. So what I'll do is I'll just do that. We're going to... Get rid of that door because it's in the wrong place. But that's okay because it... Oh, I left the lights on. God. Can we cancel the rest of these, please? Bloody hell. Every damn time. <sighs> oh, well. Sometimes we learn and sometimes we don't. So, we'll just get this in here. So, again, we're going to have to... Oh, look at this. We can have an extra wide kitchen. Mmm. Yeah, yummy. Okay. Have a lovely big kitchen here. Uh, we'll bring this down to two speed, just so it's not too quick and we can plot our way through. Um, okay, so that leaves us with this rather large room here, so we'll pop in some concrete walls for that. 
And then we'll have like a door here. We'll have a door in the middle. Is that lining up? Yes. Down to here. And then another one that sort of lines up here. That looks about right. good -o. And we'll make up our hero cells here. Alright, so these guys are even going to get windows. Alright. Looks at it. Um, okay. But we'll have this so that it, it's going to have these double doors on it. Um, you know, large jail doors. We won't put those in just yet. Uh, we will need one here at the the throat of Maxsec. So we can segregate this off. And again, the same as last time, with the, the kitchen staff are actually going to have to come out down here and up through this big door. Which is not super ideal. Because um, it's a bit longer for them to go and there's extra stuff to, you know, get through to get where they need to go. But, um... Ah, look, they can suck it up. We can get auto doors set up later on, which will help speed them through. Um, right, so next, we'll put our new... We've got a jail door spare, so we'll pop that in... Um, we'll pop it in here, for now, so that they have to come through the canteen to get into the yard. And then we're going to brick up this old exit way, trapping this poor chap out in... What is now, we'll make this a yard. Boom, look at that. Lovely. Okay, so these hero cells are sort of coming along. So in here we're going to need um, objects. And so we're going to want... Should we do bunk beds? Ooh, it's tempting. It is tempting. Hang on. First of all, let's designate one of these a cell. 2 by 5 right? And it needs to be 2 by 3 so we've got the minimum requirements done. It's probably still not going to be super nice, just because of the fact that it's, you know, a little bit cramped and stuff, but, hey, look, they'll deal. Um, okay, so what we're going to have for these guys... Oh, I'm super tempted to go bunk beds. Just to cram people in. But no, look, you know what? We'll go a nice bed right down here. We're going to have a toilet, right? So they get a little bit of privacy from the door. And then we'll do this, this great trick where you put the shower over the toilet, then you put a drain under the toilet, and everything's just all combined. And you don't need to, you don't need to have a separate tile for each one or anything like that. It's all just taken care of. Um, so that's good. Um... I think next we're going to need... Well, there is a light there already, which is great. Um, we're going to need... I think probably we'll have a little bookshelf here, right? Right next to the toilet. So when he's when he's having his, uh, his ablutions of the morning, he can reach over and grab... You know, it looks like the Quran. Uh, maybe there's a picture book there as well. Who knows? God knows what's in there. I'm sure that there's probably some Mills and Boone or... I don't know, something thrilling for them to read while they're... While they're uh, doing their thing. Um, should we go straight? It's going to be expensive. But you know what? I think we'll go straight for a, a work... A, 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 a weights bench here. Right? So they can get some iron pumping. And... What else do these guys need? Look, we'll give them... How much is a radio? 100 bucks. That's not bad. That's not too bad. We'll give them a radio. Ah. Oh. Okay, radios are a little bit tricky because sometimes you get a challenge where you have to remove the radios, but look, we'll, we'll deal with that when, when and if. And we'll give them a prayer mat. Just like a little, like next to their bed here, right? So first of all, when they get out of bed in the mornings and it's a little bit chilly, they, they don't have any slippers, so they can pop onto this and pop their slippers on. It'll be just oh, it'll be so cozy and lovely. Um, but it'll also give us the benefit of... They can pop out of bed and have a little pray, satisfy their spiritual requirements. Um, and then we'll need a door. And you know what? We'll give them a little window right next to the bed as well so they can look out onto the lovely wasteland that is this shitty Max Keck prison. Okay. Um, so this should complete shortly. We're going to need to dupe that over on this side. So we had... Uh, let's see. We had a cell. We had a bed this way. We had 
a radio facing that way because that's the back where the antenna goes. We had a bookshelf here, a weights bench this way, I think. Yeah, yeah, so the weights are up against the wall. Good. I mean, it's a bit risky. Got no one to spot him in here. You know, he's going to gonna have some troubles if he uh, goes too hard. Um, I don't know. Is that how it works? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, we're going to have a can, undrain, and head de la shower, and then a door. And that should satisfy that quite nicely. So now, we should have a prisoner capacity of dos. Um, now, before, though, we start bringing people in, we're going to get... Let's just wrap some power all the way around like this and this and this. We'll run it right across the middle to cover this big area here. And then we're going to run it... Um, we'll just, let's just go the shortest path, shall we? We'll go like, like that. And look. Um, and we're going to need some wasa, which we can bring in here. And the other thing we're going to have to consider is getting some boilers. Now, there's a nice little spot here. Hmm. Okay, so what we'll do, run this like this, right? We'll pop a boiler here, bonk, and that'll service this side. And a boiler here, donk, and that'll service this side, and it'll also feed the sinks in the kitchen so that they can wash their dishes up quicker. And then we're going to need to go with some small pipes that we go like this and then all the way down. And then from uh, here, I guess, we can go all the way down here. Is that going to connect? Because there's a... Well, we'll soon find out. And then hot water. Same path run them all the same way. I don't know what that small pipe is doing because the large pipe gets broken by the... Do I need to... No. There we go. <laughs> it's a bit of a waste, but bugger it. It'll be fine. Um, and did I put power under this one? I did not. So these need power, which can go... Yeah, here. There you go. Just like a ball one. Great. Alright, so we got a yard, we got two prison cells, so that's two prisoners on the books. Um, this can be just buggered for now. These lights, I'm going to get rid of them. Dismantle. This, oh gosh. And this, and this, oh, I've got... It's going to be dismantling power as well, isn't it? Oh, that's alright. We'll come back and fix that up. We'll have a look and see. Yeah, see. Well, there's going to be breaks in that. But we'll come back and fix that up in a moment. So that's our two cells. We'll get our canteen set up. Which is here. And look. Oh, look at this. It's probably a bit large for this. But you know what? We'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, so the canteen's going to need at least... A table. We'll pop that. Mm, we'll line it up with this here, right? And then we'll have one here, right? And then we'll have a bench and a bench and a bench and a bench. So, you know, I this guy can sit on this table and this guy can sit on this table and they can just glare at each other across the entire strip, over the cables. You can just glare at each other across the room and just seethe, hate each other. I don't know. Or maybe they'll just get along. Maybe they'll sit together. We'll see. Um, we're also going to need somewhere for the food to go. So we'll pop a serving table here. No. You know what I like to do? Is I like to pop my serving tables just like this. Right? Back to back. And they can just come out and dump all of the food out here. And the guys can just come and grab it. Because they don't need to access these from either side. They can, you know, just plonk the food in the front. Um... We're going to have a little door sealing off the kitchen. We're going to have, just to get us started, we're going to have, well, first of all, we'll make it a kitchen. Um, this is the ki 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 kitchen. Right. We're going to have 
in the kitchen. Just the bare necessities. We're going to have one cooker. And we'll put the cookers, yeah, this way, right? So that can go there. We're going to have a little fridge next to it. Bonk, right? And then we'll put the sinks. Uh, hmm. we'll put the sinks right next to the door here. So they'll actually go back to back. And then, yeah, that'll be nice. We'll have a row of kit cookers and stuff across the top, and then we can have a second row if we need to. And then the sinks can go here, so when the dirty trays come in, they'll just shove them straight into this, and bingo banger. Sugar in the gas tank. Um, we'll get a bit of hot water into this sink, which should be here and here, right? So that should hook that up, and then it'll need, I guess, oh, no, not there, there small pipe. Yeah, that should work fine. And then last but not least, we're going to need... I'll just run this power across like this and that'll connect these up and then we can run more down for extra stoves and things. And these will sort of fill across as we go. Great! Okay. Well, look, it's coming together. I mean, it still looks rubbish because it's just filthy AF, but we're getting there. We're getting bits and pieces added to our prison. Random stacks of steel that I... What What is steel used for? Doors? No. What are they... What do they use that for? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Anyway. Um, right. So I think that should that should get us ready. And next uh, episode, I think we'll... Um, we'll just bring these cells down. We'll get up to our 15 uh, prisoner limit here. And, uh, yeah, that should, that should get us, ooh, and next, yeah, we'll, we'll bring these down and then we'll make sure that we've got some heat in here so that we, when we open up to prisoners, they can come in, have a feed, frolic about, run around the trees and, you know, we should have like a maypole out here or something. Who knows? We'll have to find out. Okay, well, um, that's all for this time. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.